guys, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. I am going to try something different today. I am going to be making a message in a bottle. This is my first time filming like this, so I'm going to apologize in advance for the lighting discrepancies, the camera angles, and everything that's not good. Here I have seashells that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. Your bottle, of course. I got that from Michaels, I believe. Charms as well that I got from Michaels. This right here is the burlap ribbon. Of course, your sand, and I picked this up from Dollar Tree. Jute cord or twine, whatever you want to call it. And I didn't know which size to use, that's why I brought both. I don't know whether to use the bigger one or the smaller one, so we'll see. And of course, your paper to write the message. It looks sandy and beachy. I love it. And of course, your glue gun. So let's get started. So off camera, I went ahead and I prepared the paper and I wrote a message in there, which was a scripture. And I hot glued the paper down and wrapped the jute cord and put a little charm on it. And I'm going to start with my bottle by gluing the jute cord. And I decided to use the smaller one because it would look better. And here you can see me deciding, trying to decide which one to use. I thought the smaller one would look better, so that's what I'm going to use. Once again, I apologize for being off screen. If I do continue to make these videos, I promise I will perfect it. Now I'm going to speed it up here because it will be very boring to watch me wrap cord around a bottle in real time. And as you can see, I only use the glue gun every so often because I didn't want it to be too thick and bulky. And here I go messing with the camera angles. I do apologize. So this is my first time making something like this and I didn't know exactly how I wanted it, so I'm just figuring it out as I go. Here I'm just trying to make sure the message is just the right size and at this point I was pretty proud of what I've done now here I'm trying to figure out how to put the sand in the bottle and I guess I should have thought about that before I even started the project but I'm just going to use the paper here as a funnel So here I realized I jumped the gun with the sand. I wasn't quite ready to put it in. I'm not done decorating the bottle. So I took my burlap ribbon and I didn't know exactly where I wanted it on here. So you'll see me trying to figure out the placement. Now after I glued it on the center, I decided that I didn't like how it looked, so you will see me 
reposition it. Now I like this look a whole lot better. Yeah, it just looked a lot better to me. Remember guys, I'm figuring this out as I go. Here I'm just deciding what charm I'm going to use and like I said you guys like I keep saying I am figuring out this design as I go I had no clue how I wanted things So here you're going to see me picking out different size seashells to use and I'm just going to take and glue them around the bottom of the bottle. Okay, now it's time for the sand. And you see me using my makeshift funnel. <laughs> it looks like an hourglass right there. Now here I'm trying to decide if I had enough sand or if I needed more and as you can see I thought I needed more so I opened up the second pack and I didn't use it all I just used about half of the second pack so now I'm going to drop some seashells in but not too much So, time to put the message in. And here's the finished product, you guys. I absolutely love it. I'm quite proud of this. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. And also let me know if you would like me to incorporate more DIYs here on my channel. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.